What started out as just a study last year now has many Lincoln business owners eyeing an opportunity down the road to cash in on a downtown convention center. Now there is still a long way to go if it were to become a reality, but the city is confident it will. As for when, it's too early to say. 1011 now, Samantha Burt is breaking down what we know so far. She's live here in the studio tonight with more. Sam? Cole, Kelsey, along with that study, one state senator is already making a push to help get this off the ground with a bill to pay for half of it. And those I spoke with say bringing a convention center to Lincoln is a no brainer as it would support businesses and create jobs. At the Cornhusker Hotel in downtown Lincoln, you'll find rooms with a view and for the GM, room for plenty of growth in the capital city. It's impossible to not have a very significant impact on the economy. Kyle Lippi is talking about the possibility of a convention center being built here, with one potential site just feet from his front doors. You do a couple hundred events a year and you're talking tens of thousands of new visitors into Lincoln. Visit Lincoln, along with the Downtown Lincoln Association, commissioned a national firm to explore that idea, and the firm sees it paying off in a big way despite a big cost to build it. CSL International estimates the bill could reach upwards of $120 million, but once up and running, would bring nearly $19 million to the city's economy, along with 230 new jobs each year. All the hotels in the region will probably jump 5 to 10 percent in occupancy for a year. That equates to front desk agents, restaurant employees, culinary, dishwashers, managers. At the state capitol, Senator Anna Wishart has introduced a bill that would create a one-time $60 million fund from surplus state cash to get the project started. It will allow us to be competitive in terms of hosting some of the regional and statewide and national events that pass us by. Other possible locations include the former Journal Star Production Building near 9th and Q, the current site of Midwest Steel at 8th and N, the current downtown post office, or somewhere in the Telegraph District. Whether it's close or far from the Cornhusker, or any of those areas will have a significant impact not only on our property, uh, but the city as a whole. The Downtown Lincoln Association tells me much of the timeline as to when we could see this all start to take shape hinges on that bill. We expect to see the final draft of the firm's report in the coming weeks.